Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. What I wanted to do was, I wanted to do a, um, a sponsored video for you, brought to you by AppSumo. They are sponsoring this video. And the sponsored video I want to do for you today is called Sweet Dash, right? So Sweet Dash has been to AppSumo a couple of times, right? Well, probably more than a couple of times. I can think and I can remember when I first saw it, maybe three years ago. And um, this is a this is a tool that people will buy it. And it's so many moving parts that they kind of leave it on the shelf. When actually this is probably one of the most powerful tools that you ever see come to AppSumo. There's other tools as well. I don't want to put those tools in this video. I do want to just concentrate on Sweet Dash and it, it is back for a limited time. It only has 12 days here. And the what Sweet Dash is, let me just tell you what it is. It's a, it is Sweet Dash. It's a dashboard um, that has, um, it is the most white labeled tool. Is it the most white labeled tool on AppSumo? Probably the second most. This is a tie with another tool. Don't want to get into that. And again, this tool is for small businesses, solopreneurs, web design agencies, right? A lot of other businesses use this. I think accounting businesses use it as well, but this is a tool that gives you a dashboard, login, and all of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, sh there's three easy steps, right? There's a lot of moving parts. And as you can see here, I'm gonna show you once you log in, because even you see here, all of this here can become your own color, right? Whatever color you're using, um, your logo, the name of your, your company, your logo there and all this, all of this becomes all you, right? And you can customize it however you would like it to be. And I think this is the most powerful tools because right now where people are kind of scrambling to go to platforms and platforms trying to figure out if they're gonna be banned, if they're gonna be around, if they're not gonna be around, I think building your own platform is going to be key moving forward. And I think Sweet Dash is in the right place at the right time. Um, one of the things they show you here is Sweet Dash has what's called a PWA, Progressive Web App. And this particular, if a person right clicks on your um, domain name or your URL, they can save, it'll ask them, do you wanna save it to your desktop or to your phone and so it looks like a little app right here so it's not really an app but it actually it appears to be an app that's on your phone so that's one of the things a lot of people don't know that they have that but this tool makes this so the, to me this is the perfect tool to use they've added a lot of things in it they've added a community and they've added some, a couple, couple other things to it now the way it works here, let's look at the uh, breakout here. And I'm just gonna show you, once we go into the tool, I'm gonna show you three major parts. It has a lot of moving parts, but I think if you handle at least three, these three major parts, you're on your way. So let's talk about it here. So one single code will get you three staff members, storage of 100 gigabytes, unlimited CRM contacts, core productivity, CRL, uh, URL, login, all of that. So you get pretty much everything. I think what changes is, uh, again, you get the LMS with unlimited courses, things of that nature. I think if you wanna link up your payment profile and all that, I think there is probably an additional cost. So what you're getting, and here's what I'll tell you. If you're gonna do a lot of embeds, right? If you're gonna say, hey, I'm gonna have a platform, I wanna do a lot of embeds. I really think you can get away with 100 gig storage. That starts to fill up fast if you're gonna start um, putting a lot of files in there. Let's say you, you have a lot of customer contacts and they say, hey, I'm gonna send you over a file. This has a private portal. Person can send you over a private file, so on and so forth. So you start filling that up with data. Hey, let me send you over my PDF or let me send you over an invoice or let me send you over that. Then it starts to fill up. But if you're gonna use it for just a dashboard for client logins to get access to certain things that you have available. I really think you can get away with a single, right? Um, to be really nice, a double is nice, um, six staff members, so on and so forth. But everything else here pretty much stays the same. Let me show you the power in this tool and show you some different things you can do. Um, 
what I do want to do is I want to remove the stigma of, of um, Sweet Dash being a difficult tool to use. And the reason why people say this is because you can customize everything on here. Emails, landing pages, um, so on and so forth. You have the, the, the learning management in here. I think there's an add-on for Community Builder as well. I want to say that's $5 a month. I think that's what it was the last time I checked. But again, it's an, like I said, it's a one business software to rule them all. Everything is in here. So let me take you behind the scenes of one of mine. I have about five of them because I like what they do. I have uh, five different communities. I'm managing every single day, doing different things, but they're all different from all different genres. So I am building one from scratch and I'm not going to go through the full detail. If you like for me to do a walk, through with you or want to join one of my cohorts while I'm taking people through building a dish, uh, their sweet dash, you can comment below and I'll, I'll make sure that um, you get access to one of those classes that I do. And I also have a boot camp that I do. That's pretty simple. But if you want me to hold your hand and walk the entire class through and everybody do it together, and again, just comment below, let me know. But other than that, Sweet Dash is very, very powerful. So let's go over to the, and I'm just gonna show you one of the most, um, I think there's three areas, but if you conquer these three areas, then you're on your way to Sweet Dash. Sweet Dash is one of those tools, and they have a couple of them here that once you open up a can of Sweet Dash, you have to see it all the way through, right? But it is a very powerful tool. So let's take a look at it. So once you get set up with your account, they're gonna ask you your name and then a password. This is exactly how it looks. This is raw. Nothing has been done to it. I haven't did anything. I just logged into it and this is a brand new one. I, I pulled it off the shelf because I'm gonna start uh, building out another uh, Sweet Dash platform, but this is it. This is raw here, and you have all these different custom um, things you can customize here. I'm going to show you what it looks like customized, but this is what it looks like when it's completely raw. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of other pieces that are very important. So let me show you one of the most important pieces. I would start here first. And the reason why I would start here, and this is kind of how I started is, I would go through some of these videos starting from zero, right? And this is a lot to take in, right? Um, but I have one, it's it's a very simple course, but the, you can definitely start here and go through all of their different things here. Um, but one of the things that I do, and when I'm teaching my class, I tell people, say, hey, listen, you know what? The first thing you want to start, and the reason, and there's a reason why you want to do that. So you have, what you basically have to do is you have to go through each profile. This is each block here. So there's one, two, three, and then four, right? You have one, two, three, four. The most utilized and where I would start, where I would start, me, myself, I would start right here in the branding column. So you have your platform branding, your email branding, your email templates, your custom URL and login and your custom menus, right? I, if you go through this, so that's one, that's the first thing you're going to want to do. You're going to go through that. You're going to go through this. So that's one thing. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to spend some time in the email branding, because when you set up the email branding, you're basically uh, setting up a SMTP or a simple mail transfer protocol. And what that basically means is you get to use your own email in here, right? And so you set up your own email. If I'm Jenny at you know, the world.com, I could set up my email, Jenny at the world.com and make that email, my email for this platform and make that send out the emails and so on and so forth. So you're going to start with this column. You're going to concentrate on setting up your email, branding that, make sure that you set your logos and all that up for your emails and so on and so forth. But for the platform branding, you're going to set up all your colors, you know, you're going to put your logo here, right? And um, they give you all the sizes. That's the beauty of this tool. They give you all the sizes here. So this logo can be swapped out. These colors, the the um, the font, the, the see how you have the gray here, then you have the dark gray here. You can set those are two different color schemes. You can do that. And then you can go in 
and you can start customizing it. So those are the two things. And I'm gonna tell you what the last thing is. So let me show you what this looks like. So this is a raw one that I have, nothing's been done to it. Now let me go into, let me show you what um, it looks like uh, when you going through the process. Let me show you what a landing page looks like. So this is one of my landing pages into one of my, um, into one of my platforms, right? I have a platform, the small business growth store, but look at the landing page you get here. You get the landing page here, this, so the landing page, they give you the color that they want you to have, um, not the color, they give you the size. So you can put the size of, of your landing page here. Then also this box right here is a color that you select. The button is a color that you select and you can drop your logo in here. And then you could you can brighten up uh, or take the opacity off of how dark you want this to look. So this is a clean landing page. I'm gonna show you another one to one of my other platforms, but I just wanted you to see how customized. So this is an experience. If you want someone to come into your Sweet Dash, you send them here and it says, oh, this is my login. So now they're gonna go and see, once you do is when they log in, they're gonna go through an experience and you want this to be the gateway into the experience. Let me show you one more landing page just to give you a different flavor. So this is one here. Let me show you one more. So here's another landing page. And again, it really depends on how you set it up. What you're gonna see is you're gonna get the logo here. They're gonna even ask you for a size logo that you'll have that's gonna be your PWA or your progressive web app that sits on someone's phone. You're gonna to have to set that up as well, but you notice how this one is white and I made the opacity a little bit lighter here and you have your email and your password here, okay? So then you have your, your button colors here and again, this is the color of the background. So this is just one, there's, those are two different logins. Now let's show what happens when you log into here. So this is my login here. I've logged into one of my uh, sweet dashes here. And as you can see here, the color schemes, remember I told you, you can set your logo up here. You have your, your colors, whether it be your, this is a light, this is a dark blue and a light blue. So this is the same setup, but what I did is this is the, my master account. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when a person logs into it. So, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the last piece that you need to concentrate on and setting up properly. Um, and that's part of, again, part of my my boot camp that I have. I kind of take you through step by step, but I wanted to give you the the, the three core pieces. That's what it's, it's three easy steps to get in. So once you finish this whole side over here, we talked about it, that's finishing up all of this. Everything you see here is, is finishing up all of this. Now, let me show you what happens when you log in, and then I'm gonna show you um, actually before I show you what happens when it logs in, let me show you the last piece and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the client side. So even though you may see all of these menus here, it doesn't mean that my client's gonna be able to see all of that and there's a reason why. And let me show you how that looks on this side. It's gonna depend on what a person has access to inside of your portal. And the last thing you need to concentrate on, and again, I talk about all of that in one of my courses, um, but the last thing you you I want you to concentrate on again three things your landing page your branding right so right here let's talk about it before I show you your your branding cover everything in his slot do not move until you get everything in here covered and taken care of so we're gonna cover that that's the first thing the second thing and the email is in here as well you're gonna concentrate on setting up your email making sure that you um, you address it properly and so on and so forth. So you're gonna do that. So those two things you're gonna do. The last thing you're gonna do, which is a very important piece, there's a lot of moving pieces, but the last important piece is you're gonna go in CRM and you're gonna to go to circles, right? And your circles is what gives you the authority for people to do different things, right? So inside your circles, you have different circles. So I have a circle called YouTube Basic uh, think tank, coaching clients, gold status, silver status, bronze status. It really depends on how you set up all of your clients and what access they get to. Whereas YouTube basic may only get access to basic menu items. Your gold clients may get access to gold items. So when a person signs up, they're going to get 
different access to different things inside your pro. So that is the last thing you have to concentrate on, making sure you know where people go. They get on your bus, you need to make sure that they're in the right seats on your bus, right? So let's take a look at how this looks like from a client from the other side. And this is just so you know, and I'm telling you, this is a very, very powerful tool. Um, Sweet Dash is one of my, it is one of my top five purchases ever from AppSumo. And that's the reason why I'm spending a little time in it. So let's take a look at what that looks like for a person that is logged in. Okay, so once a person logs in, this particular person has access to everything. So you can see all the different um, links to show up here that they have access to. They have access to one-on-one -on -one coaching. They have access to the bronze calendar, the silver calendar, and the gold calendar. So this is uh, obviously my demo that I did. I wanted to see if everything was working. So I gave them access. So this particular circle has access to everything. So this is kind of how I built out the landing page. You can build it a lot smoother, but this, I just wanted to get something together. Then I can have other offers in here as well. I can have my questions and answers. And then I could put a featured video here. This is a video that's embedded from Gumlet. So that's here as well. And that's the featured video for January the, from the FOMO show. And if you missed that, I got a couple things coming up. You guys are gonna be able to get access to the FOMO show. That's gonna be something I'm gonna be doing once a month, um, going over in detail different tools like this. So I wanted to give you an act. This is some of the things that I do on the FOMO show. I kind of talk you through them and see if you actually really need the tool or not. And I think Sweet Dash is a tool that you uh, should consider uh, if you haven't considered it already. And I think moving into um, moving into an era where um, you, you don't really know what's going to happen with a lot of these platforms, I think going in and going with a tool like Sweet Dash is a pretty good tool. Uh, this do tool ends in 12 days. If you already have, if you have a um, plus account. I think now is an excellent time at your checkout. Just go ahead and make a copy. I mean, just go ahead and copy this, put plus time in there and you'll get an additional 10% off. So that'll bring your cost down substantially, maybe just right above hundred, I think maybe 130 bucks or so. So you can get it for 130 bucks. This to me, 130 bucks to create an experience that I talked about for a person to log in and allow them an opportunity to be able to explore what you have to offer. I think that's an excellent deal. Sweet Dash is one of my top five tools and I have a lot of tools, um, but it is one of my top five tools of all time on AppSumo and I own a lot of tools. So you guys have been great. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let me know if you like these kind of uh, videos. Um, this again, this video is sponsored by AppSumo, but I wanted to give you a deeper dive in some of the tools that I look at. Um, and you'll definitely be able to catch that on the FOMO shows where I'm diving in, going behind the scenes, lifting up the hoods, kicking the tires on a lot of these tools and let you know if we need them or not. Hey, this has been Jenny Jones. Give me a thumbs up on this video. If you think it's a good video and very detailed, you guys have been great. You guys take care. Don't forget, you only have 12 days until this deal ends. I think this is an excellent deal. If you don't do anything, just get one of them. Uh, the prices rose a lot here. And you can add a lot of things to it here. These are your configuration automations. You can do a lot of automation to it. I actually teach people how to set up their own landing page and to automate some different things as well. Um, look on the link in the description. You'll find a couple things in there as well that you can have with the AppSumo. Um, deal here. All right, you guys take care. Goodbye for now.